Mei Lin Fang was a phenomenal Chinese performer. He is one of the most famous and admired Peking opera performers. Mei Lin Fang was born on October 22, 1994 in Taizhou in Jiangsu province. Mei Lin Fi was born into the Dan family because Chinese theater during this time was thought to be hereditary. The Dan character role is a female impersonator. Like many actors who were born in the famous theater families, Mei Lin Fang began his acting career at a very young age. He started acting when he was eight years old and was practicing to become a future star of Chinese theater. At the ed age of ten, he made his first real stage performance debut. Since the first performance, the star only got better and more attention. At the age of thirteen, Lam Fang joined the Zilikin Theater Company. He impressed many people with his style of dance and overall performance through this theater company. His style of dance was known as the Mei Lin Fang School and it became infamous over the years. This style of dance, among with other trends that Mei Lin Fang set, were new and popular and are still popular to this day. Mei Lin Fang was not only a popular theater performer in his Chinese country, but he soon became famous in many other countries. He quickly spread the art of Beijing opera to many foreign countries. The artist was able to spread his way of performing to other countries by performing for them. He toured the United States, Japan, and the Soviet Union performing his version of the opera. When he toured these countries, he met other famous performers from different cultures, such as Charlie Chaplin from the United States. He was among one of the first groups of the opera to ever go and travel abroad. Mei Lin Fang was one of the most celebrated actors in the Peking operas and had a stage career of 50 years. He was very influential among Asian theater and was a big impact to the continuing of the Kung Fu tradition and the continuation of the traditional Chinese theater. Japan took control over China in July of 1937 after the Marco Polo Bridge incident Imperial Japanese Army soon occupied. The commander of the Japanese Army ordered Mei to perform for them and appointed Mei to a high rank official position. Mei refused to sink throughout the duration of the war and endured an impoverished lifestyle until the war ended in 1945 according to the theater of the capital. Mei Lin Fang was an inspiration to his country and culture even during the hard times. He gave them hope and continued to carry on their theater traditions once China gained their country back. The following clip is a performance by Mei Ling Fang himself. Mei Fang was a celebrated artist and an influential cultural and political personality. He was able to persuade Chairman Mao Peking's opera value as the creation of the people of China, according to the theater of the capital. Mei Lin Fang plays an important influence in the Chinese theater production. He is an idol to many other actors, someone they look up and aspire to be. He is also a role model to the people of China who admire the arts and what the theater has to offer to the culture of the country. Mei Lin Fang was a stage performer for many years and had a tremendous career to show for it. Even after he was done performing on stage, Mei Lin Fang continued to play a huge part in the role of Chinese theater. The world-known star became the director of China Beijing Opera Theater, director of the Chinese Opera Research Institute, and vice chairman of China Federation of Literacy and Art Circles. He contributed to the world of Chinese theater in an immersed way which was appreciated not only by his audience but by the rest of the world as well. His contributions are still recognized today by many people. Mei Lin Fang died on August 8, 1961 in Beijing. 
Overall, Mainland Thing is without a doubt the most celebrated pecking opera actor today, both at home and abroad. He is a legendary female impersonator and innovator whose legend will never die.